Well, folks, it's almost over. And, you know, that's kind of weird for me to say because obviously this is something that has been a part of me for 20 plus years, but my days of collecting video games actively are almost over. I have indeed sold the collection. I talked about it in a previous video, but you could see here the shelves are starting to look barren. There's totes of stuff that's happening here. I, I haven't finished it yet, but yes. I did sell the collection, and so I kind of want to talk about what's going on with all of that, some of the feedback that I've seen on it, and then, of course, talk a little bit about what is replacing my game collection. So, in case you missed the other updates, I just decided to sell my games, man. Like, I just felt like it was time to move on. I felt like it was time to, to just get rid of it, you know, get rid of all this stuff, make a nice wad of money, and then, you know, ex experience the games, because it never was really about... You know the shelf collecting for me like it was cool I, I enjoyed it but it, it's more about the games and being able to play the games and honestly having all these physical goods having all these systems and not having them set up and it being kind of a pain in the ass to play these games what I have now is much easier to play the games which at the end of the day is really what matters at least that's what matters to me I understand that people out there enjoy collecting and they enjoy game hunting still and that's great. Just for me personally, I've moved on. It, it, the the passion, the thrill is gone, as the song used to say. So I ended up striking a deal with Phoenix Resale. He will be coming to my house on April 11th, so about two weeks from now or so. And, you know, some people were like, well, why did you sell it to him? Why didn't you sell it to a store, this, that, the other? And first and foremost, you know, this is what Phoenix Resale does. If you look at his title of his YouTube channel, it clearly says Resale. Meaning that he is essentially the modern gaming store when, when you really think about it because you know brick and mortar stores No matter what they are They're starting to slowly dwindle away and what he does and what many other people do is they buy up these lots They buy up these collections. They go to conventions and sell the stuff You know, you don't have a, a building overhead. You don't have employee overhead with stuff like that so the more of the profits come back to you you sell them on ebay you sell them to other people whatever the case may be so i think it's kind of the modern retro video game store that's the thing you have to constantly adapt when you're when you're in the business sphere especially with something like that so he is coming in on april 11th he is flying in he's renting a u-haul truck we're gonna load that some bitch up and then he's gonna head on so i am keeping like as you can see here all of this is pretty much done. There's some Saturn and Dreamcast stuff that I still need to do here. The stuff that you see on this little stinky shelf, that's like my um, PlayStation and Xbox stuff that I'm actually keeping um, for like the modern systems. So that's going to get transferred over to this shelf. The little stinky shelf is going to completely go away. And then I have another shelf over here that you can't see off camera that's exactly like this. So I'm going to move that shelf over here and then put the games that i have the games that i'm keeping are going to stay there and then whatever else i decide to you know put there to fill it out because i have stuff to put there like collectibles and stuff like that i'm gonna put that there but the mini pc a lot of people are wondering about the mini pc and my experience with it thus far i have not done nearly enough sort of reconnaissance in order to make a full video on this but i'm learning and i'm understanding everything and i freaking love it i i love it because it's making my old games play better and look better with the internal resolution upscaling and stuff you know four times on uh the sega saturn emulator i have nine times on duck station like these games look completely different and they look modern almost in some times because they upscale all the graphics like whenever you see like a game like a Final Fantasy 7 when Final Fantasy 7 got a version on you know all the modern consoles and they up it that's what you get with Duck Station so imagine something like that on every PlayStation 1 game it's incredible um I've obviously been buying some controllers up as well which I'm gonna do like a whole separate video about controllers um so I got some uh USB controllers because cheaper than bluetooth and i you know people say well why don't you just get one controller to do everything i have one controller to do everything this is so that if i want a more authentic experience you know if i'm playing nes games i would want to use an nes style controller just because of, of the d-pad or something like that same thing with super nintendo same thing with 
GameCube, you know, I mean, you could play GameCube on, on a 360 controller. It actually works really well. But, you know, um, same thing with N64. Now, I do have, like, the Brawler 64, which is what I'll probably use most of the time. But, you know, if I want a more authentic experience, and, like, I have to review all these controllers. So, you know, it, it, it's going to be, like, one full video. Um, Sega Genesis, six button. I already have a Sega Saturn one that I've been using. And then this is actually a usb this i didn't even know this was a thing see like that's how far behind in emulation i am this is for the wii so that you could use a wii controller on a mini pc you just you know you put the sensor bar up there and people say oh use candles no i'm not using candles i'm not pot this was ten dollars okay how much are candles and then you got a, a burn hazard that's gonna burn down your room because you you freaking passed out on the couch and you forgot that it has burning stuff and fire and stuff like that. So no, I bought this, it was $10, and it allows you to use a Wii controller on like any sort of device. So in my mind, cause I haven't even really messed around too much with Wii upscaling. I've done GameCube upscaling with like um, uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. That game, oh, so good on the GameCube um, with the upscaling and stuff. But like being able to play the, the, the light gun shooters on my modern television, upscaled on this system because of the fact that i have something like this like it gives you so many possibilities and i'm excited for it i'm really excited for it because retro games this is going to be a, a controversial statement retro games kind of burned me out a bit you know i was burned out on it i felt like you know i i understood it i hit the wall with it it was i, I knew what everything was going to be but this breathes new life into things this whole emulation world that it's been around for quite a while. Most people, you know, already know about it and lots of people already talk about it. But for someone who hasn't experienced this stuff before, this is all new to me. And it's just as exciting to me now as as it was, you know, playing the games originally. So, you know, people have been asking me, do you have any regrets yet? Are you starting to regret? No, there's no regrets. I will be happy when all of this is out of here because it'll give me a lot more space i could do more things down here you know i'll still have video games i'll still purchase video games you know new video games that come out that i can't emulate or stuff for the playstation 4 that i can't emulate like maybe a game that i just i just never played it's just being more smart with my collection allowing other people to experience stuff you know because I, you know what what if i kept this forever and then something happened to me, like, you know, freaking in January. Let's say that that went, you know, um, that went a little bit south. What would happen with all this stuff? You know, at least I'm getting some value for this. And then other people will potentially buy these games and actually play these games instead of just sitting on the shelf. Because uh, let's be real, a lot of you retro game collectors, your shit just sits on the shelf. It never gets played. And that's just how it is. So yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to hang out with Phoenix Resale. Uh, he's actually gonna stay the night at my house, so we'll film um, some stuff there. I gotta leave some stuff so we can have B-roll footage. We're like, oh look, we're putting something in the tote, because you know you gotta you gotta make you gotta make content out of everything. But yeah, it should be a good time. I'm loving the mini PC. Once once I get a little bit more in depth with it i will have videos on it because there's a ton of shit i want to show you guys from it just the experience that i've been having with it has been so positive and you know I, after fixing everything i screwed up but it's been so enjoyable so yeah just a little update on what's happening with that sunday video you know how the vibes are i'm gonna keep it chill on a sunday hope you guys enjoyed the video give me your feedback in the comments section down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later